Eleanor joins us now. I am in. This yeah. looks so <laughs> good. And you're with a bit of Leo. I mean, a bit of Leo. it's not a hard job, was it? Oh, he's just the best, honestly. He's like the nicest guy. And yeah, he made my, my job very he easy. Was so, did you see uh, White Lotus? He was yes. so good in he White was Lotus. Yeah, amazing. he's an amazing actor. It's, it's been... White Lotus hadn't come out when we started filming, so... To sort of be there with him while that kind of That's madness nice. happened was just well, really as well great. Well, sort of living through that. When you do a show like Poldark and you spent so long doing it and it was, it was such a massive hit, that must have been nice for you to be able to kind of, you know, see that experience and maybe guide him a little bit as well. I wouldn't say I guided him, but, you know yeah. What I mean? we, uh, just to have that commonality. I think. Yeah, no, it, it was... It's just really special and he's he's become one of my best friends as well. So what it's just... Awesome. Yeah, it's just... It's kind of rare sometimes that that happens. And it's it's just, lovely when it happens. Though, yeah, isn't it? really, really lovely. So for people that don't know this story, obviously, it's, like Alison said, it's based on the David Nichols book, this incredible book. And then uh, there's a movie adaptation as well in, I think, 2009. But if people aren't aware of the story, can you just give us a little bit of a background? So it's basically two people that um, that meet on their last night of university and then they go their separate ways, but their lives sort of remain intertwined and then you see them, it spans 20 years and it's the different people that come into their lives, but he none of them are quite each other. But you see it as the one, so it's always the 15th of July? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, so it's Saint Day. Right. Yeah. And your character comes a little bit later on. Yes, yeah. From about episode nine onwards, I come in as his his girlfriend and then his wife. And... But maybe the audiences might not want you to be together with him. Is that yeah, right? I think that's her biggest fault, is that she's just not Emma. Um, so, yeah, nothing I can do about that. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so exciting to see. It's so, what, so good. What's it like to be playing that character, to be playing the character that um, isn't necessarily the baddie, but, you know, isn't as in love with him as he is with her or so forth? You know, it's sort of... I really enjoyed it. I think what was what was great is that in the in the book you kind of don't really get to know her that much, but in this adaptation, because it was for television, we had so much more time. So the characters really fleshed out a bit more. And I really wanted to make her sort of more real and relatable. Um, I mean, she's still, you know, slightly tricky and, mm -hmm. and it becomes very clear that she's not the right woman for him. Yeah. But um but yeah, it was it was really, really great to have kind of like more to play with with the character, with the uh, writing. How many parts is it? Uh, what the series in total? Yeah. I think it's 15, 15 and 14. Oh, wow. So yeah, there's a big arc a there, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Did you enjoy the fashion, though? Because we go back to the 80s, don't we? And I was an 80s yeah. baby. Did you enjoy the fashion? Loved it. I'm not going to lie, the low-rise jean is terrifying. But it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's... I, I'm pretty glad that it's... I mean, it's coming back now, isn't it? But I'll be a high-waisted girl, I think. I'll and it must be lovely it. when you sit down at uh, that first sort of script reading and you look around and, like, we mentioned Leo, but um, <laughs> Amber Kamod there as well. Yeah. You know, she's, you know, she's has this incredible body of work, isn't she, with, like, this is going to hurt. Must have been that, you must get that kind of frisk on that first chemistry read or whatever when you sit down and everyone gets there yeah. and everyone has their little name behind the table or whatnot. Yeah. You, you know, that, yeah, what's, yeah, that, yeah. what's that day like? That was amazing. There were a couple of days because we actually read through all of the episodes, which is quite rare. Well, on the read through at the table. Yeah, we oh, had wow. it over a couple of days. Um, but to just meet them and to see them working together and, and to sort of know that it was going to be this massive hit and to just watch that nervous little twinkle that they had and then to see what they've made of it is just... It, I'm so proud of it. I think it's a really great show. Yeah, great. It really is. Yeah. And as we know, Poldark, we've got to talk about Poldark oh. because that is what made you, yeah. made Demalza. I didn't realise you're a natural blonde. Yeah. And it was your idea to become a redhead. Yeah, I wanted to make her kind of fiery and, you know... What, what made you... Did you want to always be a redhead or did you just think that character wanted, needed it, it? Purely just that character. I was kind of thinking about her and how best to get into it and I really wanted to, you know, change myself up a bit. And so, yeah, I was like, let's go for a redhead. Oh, you're stuck with it now. I mean, yeah, that's, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I went blonde, I'd never work again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I heard about your accents, though. You're very good with accents, because obviously we've seen well, Malza, she's apart brilliant. From. Well, well, I've heard that you're not very good at the Brummie accent. Why is that? And when did you realise that you wasn't any good? During the Peaky Blinders audition. <laughs> Stop uh, it. Yeah, which meant was very short, uh, <laughs> as will this conversation you, about accents. Did you not be. give me a... Why did you not give me a call? I, I should have given you some I coaching. I should have done. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what was it? Like, were you literally in the audition? Yeah, and they actually said, oh, you really can't do the accent, can oh, you? I was wow. like... Ah, uh, thanks. I'm no. trying really hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. And, and had no, you I done some do pre like just kitchen preparation, like listening to? I had tortured myself just watching Alison Hammond videos the entire time. People need to do a, a Brum accent. What would be your What would be your advice? What would be your tips? 
I mean, I d I, do you want me to give you yes, a little please. bit of a coach right now? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, the next part could be around the corner. <laughs> okay, I want you to say, uh, I'm just going down the road. Yeah. Uh, if I say that, I I will never. Work All you're going to say is, I'm just going down the road. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you say that? No. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just going down the road. That is not see. coaching. That's just our thing. Well, this is I'm coaching her. Out. Yeah. I'm coaching I want to help too. I'm, I'm just coaching. going down the road. <laughs> just, go, just, just going. Just to, going to down. To see Dermot O'Leary. To see Dermot O'Leary. Absolutely not. I am actually pushing my Birmingham <laughs> accent because I've actually modified my Birmingham. accent a little bit. I'm pushing it a little bit. I'm just going down the road to see Dermot O'Leary. Good for you. I hope he's well. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> great. And then I'm, we have to talk I'm, about I'm Outlaws as well. That you're, because you're never going to do that. Like, it's such a great show, Steve Merchant's Outlaws. It's like, it's, it's really lovely comedy. Lovely to see a different side of you. Also, and everyone thought this funny, but during the first series, they got Christopher Walken to be in the show. I know. I know. Madness. But how amazing. Right? Yeah. And how was he... Because with, with Walken, you must sit down at lunch and just go... Talk, just like, yeah. just let's soak it all up, listen to it. Yeah, well, I mean, my first lunch with him, I was literally sat there like, oh my gosh, it's, it's Christopher Walken. But I mean, he's so lovely and he's just so full of these kind of bonkers stories, you know. Suddenly he's doing an impression of Marlon Brando and right. he's like the most impersonated actor anyway. Don't ask me to do Christopher <laughs> Walken. <laughs> In a very yeah, reaction. Yeah. It, it was it was wonderful. Just what a great experience to work yeah. with him and, and just to be a part of Stephen's team. It's is, a lovely, it's really got a lovely great. vibe to that whole show. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, Ellen, it's, uh, it's wonderful watching your career flourish. It Thank really you. is. It's yeah. so, so nice. Uh, the full series of One Day is available now on Netflix. Yeah. Enjoy. Thanks Thank you so much for joining us. Thank